Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, I like living life on the edge, so I'm recording this now for my video today. I had the opportunity to paint a refrigerator this weekend for a friend's Airbnb. And I wanted to show you all, um, I'm gonna joke around about it because it is a white refrigerator. Um, and we all know the meme with Nene Leaks. I'll probably insert it somewhere in the video, but this house is an Airbnb, it's an investment. And so it's not worth the money to completely replace the refrigerator when you could spend a few dollars and just update it. And so that's what my clients decided to do. And I'm gonna show you how. I do recommend the appliance epoxy that I use. It worked out really well and epoxy is very forgiving. If you've watched me in the past, I have a tendency to overspray. And the epoxy did not mind my, I guess, manhandling of the spray containers. Um, and it worked out really well. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe so I can keep bringing you content. And I'm going to get started now. This fridge came with the house. It hadn't been used in a while, so certain areas had rusted out. Now this is what I would call the ghetto if it, you have a rusted fridge in your space. However, there's an easy solution to fixing this up. Pay particular attention to where the rust is. You can patch that if you wanted with some actual solidifying epoxy, but I'm choosing to paint it and the homeowner agreed. So we're gonna start with some tarps. I already had these, they're from Dollar Tree. They cover a large amount of spaces and they'll cover the cabinets and the floors and the side of the fridge that I am not painting. We are focused on the front of the fridge right now. So that is the part I'm going to paint. And the only hard part about these is getting them open. Um, it takes a bit of a minute, but they cover such a large amount of space, they are worth the trouble of opening. So I'm taking some painter's tape and covering up the tile. I don't want to ruin any of the hard work that has already gone into this kitchen with any overspray from the appliance epoxy I'm going to use on the refrigerator. So honestly, with any project, whether I'm working on furniture, working on refrigerators, or just working on a space in general, the prep work is truly what takes the most time. To me, it is tedious. And you will want to not do this when you're working on a project, but trust me, it's the best part of the project because it really helps you get clean lines and it really keeps you from messing up any other parts of your space. Time to remove the handles. So they typically screw off as this is an older fridge, of course, so it's easier to get them off, but because some of the screws had rusted, I struggled to pop them off of the lower portion of the fridge and you'll see me struggle a bit here. You can slide the cap down on them as well if it'll move. Mine would not move so I was steady just trying to pop it off of the screw that was holding it on. So it took a minute. A lot of um, upper body strength was put to work here and as you can see there's still some rust marks from the screws and I will get those cleaned up shortly. By now you should know the drill. Always clean your piece. Clean, clean, clean. I am using a degreaser by Crud Cutter. This is one of my favorites. I use it on my wood furniture and I'm using it on this fridge because she needed it. So we're gonna give her a heavy spray. I'd say let it sit for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna come back and wipe it all down. I'm also taking the screws and I'm going to clean them up and remove any rust or debris that is on them and you'll see the handles are actually in the water over here soaking so that I can clean them too. The fridge is all clean, but I'm noticing some areas where paint from the wall color landed on here and then I'm pointing out where there's still some rust coming through just so I can note where I need to do a little extra scrubbing and also a little heavier of a spray with the appliance epoxy I'm going to use. Make sure your 
following me on Instagram and TikTok as I show other projects I'm working on. Now it's time to cover the upper cabinets. This was a little more tedious. I forgot my step stool and had to use one of the chairs from the kitchen. I made sure it was covered with the plastic. And so I'm gonna try to take these up here and I'll even fold some of the plastic into the cabinets just to protect them from any overspray. So here, this tarp is really long. Like I said, they are worth the trouble, but I didn't need all of it. Feel free to cut it down when you work on your project. But I also took some of it and covered up the top of the fridge, as well as some of the parts that I didn't want to get paint on, like this hinge cap right here I'm putting tape on. I'm also tucking some of the plastic in on the seams because I don't want to spray the rubber either. And here is my lovely setup. All taped off and covered with tarps. And you know the next step is sanding. So we're gonna take a high grit sand block. This is a 220 grit I got at my local hardware store and I'm just gonna use some elbow grease since I am primarily focusing on the front of this refrigerator. In my research, however, I did see some people using an oscillating sander, um, a hand sander. You can definitely do that. Again, you still wanna use a high grit sandpaper to clean up any extra debris and also just to help your paint or epoxy stick to your refrigerator in this case. So I'm sanding it down, making sure I get the top of the freezer and I'm gonna open the doors and try to get the sides as well. When you're sanding, make sure you're focused on the edges as well. Uh, especially where there was the rust on this particular fridge, I made sure to sand it down to the best of my ability, just so it was a smoother surface for the epoxy to adhere to. And I also took a rag and scrubbed off the paint. Most paint is water-based, so if you do drop it somewhere or it spills a bit, it's very easy to clean up even after it has dried. It just requires a little bit of strain. A little bit of pushing um, and surprisingly this process did not take me out I thought I'd be exhausted but I wasn't after sanding I made sure to wipe it down with a damp rag again making sure I focus on the corners and edges and areas where the rust was I'm going to go in with a deglosser. I bought this for myself with no charge to the client. I wanted to try this because I have some other projects that I'm going to need to use it on, especially some cabinetry and my media cabinet. So it says to take a rag to soak the rag, soak the rag more or less, soak it through, and in circles go around on your piece and it will immediately sand down your item. And this worked really well. I was so excited to use this product. Um, like I said, I'd been wanting to use it for a while. And you just let it dry for 10 minutes. It does not have a scent, or at least I didn't notice one. They do recommend that you wear goggles just to avoid any potential splashing, but luckily I'm blind, so I had on glasses. I also wore gloves when using the deglosser. You can wear gloves honestly the whole time. 
from the clean to the sanding to the deglossing. But again, this just really helped prep my surface so that the acrylic would adhere to the fridge and it made sure everything was nice and smooth. Now for the good part. Don't you wish you could always just skip to the good part, guys? Hmm, I'll tell ya. So I'm using my handheld spray paint holder. I don't know what to call it right now, I'm sorry. Um, it just makes the coats even and it disperses the spray paint more evenly. And I'm just going back and forth in slow strokes. Take your time and making sure I get full coverage of this piece. I also want to note in the top right hand corner, I did cover the label of the fridge just to make sure it didn't get any epoxy on it. So I wanted to take a moment, I think I've come off screen here, just to let you know that you can do multiple coats and if you do mess up, like I said, this epoxy is very forgiving. So just let it dry sand it down gently and then go back over it again with another coat of the epoxy. And here while the first coat dries I want to show you that this has an adjustable nozzle so you can spray vertically and you can spray horizontally. I really thought that was a great feature just to make sure you have full coverage. Time for the second coat. Now I did two main coats, but where the rust was, of course you had to focus on those areas a little more. And I ended up doing probably three to four sprays on those areas just to make sure they were covered and blended in with the rest of the refrigerator. Here she is after the first couple of coats. Now I'm going to seal this with a clear coat of enamel spray. If you want a high gloss look, you can buy high gloss. If you want satin or matte, again, buy it in the finish that is most desirable for you. I just wanted this to look like a brand new refrigerator. So I went with just a clear coat of enamel. And I did two coats of this as well. And keep in mind, I also painted the handles. They were a little more problematic. You'll see them over here to the far right. Um, just because I guess they were on the plastic and I hadn't really given them enough time to dry. But I did retouch them up when I added them back onto the refrigerator. So I cleaned everything up, put my tarps away when I was finished, and now here's the final reveal. I'd say this was a win. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.